engineers, mathematicians, medical workers. With limited opportunities at home, Iranians are seeking better lives elsewhere. Iran's brain drain is nothing new. What's new is the sheer number of experts had enough. The outflow of talent has now created a problem for many industries, and perhaps none more so than Iran's medical sector. As nurses, we work long hours and get paid low wages. It's not nearly enough for a livelihood. It's so difficult that I want to go to a foreign country because at least I would be able to get by. I have no idea what kind of problems I'll face when I immigrate, yet I would rather go than stay. Getting paid on time is also an issue, which has led to a sharp increase in the migration of nurses. During the first 10 months of pandemic, nearly 3,000 healthcare workers reportedly left Iran, and the number of nurses applying to leave tripled. As the country's economic prospects grew bleaker because of international sanctions, increasing numbers of Iranians are looking to start new lives abroad. During past four years, immigration has risen threefold. According to an official report, about 150,000 people a year are leaving. More than 100,000 of those immigrating annually have university degrees, including PhDs. And around 3,000 of them alone are doctors, like Milad Mohammadi. He is a neuroscientist now living in Germany. He left Iran to pursue his education. But when it came to returning, he says it didn't seem wise. The economical situation back then that I left the country was not such a disaster. It was much, much, much better than what is today. But what we were thinking was that the country is in the wrong way and the situation will, got, uh, will, will become worse and worse. One of the most important reasons that we were thinking that it's getting worse was the sanctions. And it, was, uh, and it proved itself that the sanctions are the most important factor in my eyes, uh, uh, torture Iranian people. In a report last year, Iran's Minister of Foreign Affairs concluded that around 4 million Iranians live abroad. While many here still hold out hope for a better life, the number of outward-looking Iranians is rapidly increasing. Rasul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Tehran.